Hi, today I'm talking about the apparently uh, obsolete method of wrapping bassoon reeds with uh, toothbrush handles melted in acetone. Uh, these toothbrush handles are harder and harder to find. They've changed the, the, uh, the, the formulation of the plastic, but basically what you want is a plastic that's fairly flexible and uh, fairly rigid and can be melted in acetone. Uh, these are some handles I've had in the past. I've dissolved them with acetone in a glass bottle. I've been doing this a very long time, so this is a aspirin bottle. Um, I've made glass aspirin bottles in a very long time. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to take a reed that I have formed, put my wires on. Again, I use four wires. I've checked to make sure my wires are firm, they're not wiggling anymore, uh, and then I'm going to cut off the bottom two of these. Okay, so I cut them off so that they are about the length so that when I fold them over, they fold fairly flat against the reed body. Squeeze that down, straighten it out a little bit. And they look good. I'll straighten out that wire just a little bit. There, great. Okay, so and then I'm going to take this this second wire here and just push it up a little bit so that uh, the plastic it doesn't interfere with when I put the plastic on. Okay, so I'm going to open my bottle. Oh yeah, I'm going to open my bottle. Okay, yes I do. This has been used recently, so it sometimes sticks. Okay, so I'm going to open the bottle, and I have some nice gooey stuff, and I'm going to pour that out. I happen to like to use, um, the colors that I tend to use are brownish to reddish. You can see that I only have green, hand, uh, green toothbrush handles there, and clear ones, and so Uh, that's about the right amount there. Okay, this this is you notice I'm working over a, over a piece of newspaper here because if this stuff is a little bit gooey, a little bit looser than I've got today, um, it's very likely to dribble all over the place. Okay, so I do that and I make sure I'm just taking a screwdriver and pushing it up to make sure that it comes all the way up to the wire. And that goes all the way down to the base of the butt, of the butt of the reed. Okay, I pushed it around. Okay, it's fairly fluid for a while. Okay, so this is kind of lumpy for a while, and I can do this, and I just basically move it around, spin it for a while, and it'll kind of even out. I use gravity to push it over to the sides where it isn't quite enough. If I, if I have a bulge on one side, I'll hold that side to the top for a while and it'll, it'll gradually flow down to the opposite side. Okay, so I'm spinning this around and basically all I have to do here is wait until it starts to form a little bit of a skin and that will show up as wrinkling in the uh, in the in the surface of, of the plastic, you notice that I spilled a little onto onto the reed here. That's not a problem; it will flake right off. Okay, so I've got this; it's doing pretty well right now. It's starting to form a little bit of a skin, and so I'm just going to take it off and put it into my uh, drying board. Okay. Uh, Basically, what will happen is as I go along with this, the reed will, um, the, the acetone will eventually evaporate out and you'll get something that looks like this onto, onto the reed. Okay, I'll do one more. You'll notice that as, as this goes on, it will start to sag down a little bit and it will kind of form what you're used to in, in normal reeds, uh, cloth wrap reeds, kind of a... It, it's a pseudo turban effect. Okay, so I'm checking this. this. The wire is a little bit loose still. 
push it up. That wire is still firm. This wire is a tad loose. There. Okay, so I've got my wires. I'm kind of clipping, clipping, folding, folding. Okay, I like the four wire, wire recipe of doing this. Uh, again, I like having a wire very close to the end of the reed so I form a good seal with the bow hole. Uh, the one in the middle just keeps things from, from gapping. And then the normal two wires up at the front. The alternatives to this seem to be um, if you're not going to wrap it with thread, the alternatives seem to be uh, working with uh, shrink wrap tubing, which I don't like at all. Oh boy, ooh, ooh, going too fast. Oops, 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 keep on top. Oops, 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 oops. Well, I managed to not get that so that it, it fell onto the onto the table here. I was very lucky. It just it wanted to spread out a little more than I planned on. Okay, so this is this is looking good. It's up tight against the wire up at the top, and I'm going to pull it down a little bit so that it comes down to the bottom edge of the reed. There we go. And big blump on one side. We'll just kind of mush that around a little bit. Okay. Oh, and hot glue is, is another alternative that people seem to do. Uh, I've said the one that, that looked the best to me and the hot glue routine was uh, somebody who used a, a, an electric screwdriver to do the spinning and then put the hot glue on. I have not tried that. Uh, this this uh, plastic melted in acetone seems to have gone out of favor with people recently. I think it's probably because it takes a while to do and it takes a little bit of skill. Uh, but um, I've been using it for <clears throat> about 60 years now, and it has worked very nicely for me. Uh, and I'm very pleased with the results that I get. If you keep on spinning this, uh, it, it it's kind of evens out. When I'm doing a big batch of these, rather than spinning it by hand, I set up an electric drill running at, at very low speed and kind of diagonally up this way and let it spin and, and I just drop this into the chuck and, and then go on to the next read. And it, it, it spins for a couple of minutes and, and then it's, it's perfectly okay. If you want to try moving things now, you notice that when I use the screwdriver, some of it sticks to the screwdriver. You can also spin it with the, with, it doesn't tend to, you can kind of mush things around with the back of your fingernail and uh, that it doesn't seem to want to stick onto the back of your fingernail. So you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but uh, it's starting to form a skin. There are starting to be some wrinkles on the surface, and this is ready to be put into the drawing board. Okay, I, I, there are a couple of warnings. Acetone is not the, 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 the coolest thing. Uh, you can buy it at, at almost any hardware store, paint store, uh, and uh, you should you work work with uh, in a ventilated area so that uh, you, the fumes don't overwhelm you. Okay, so this will sit. Uh, these I did yesterday at about this time. They are quite hard, and it, and it's ready to go on to the next stage of of bassoon reed making. Thank you.